beautiful footage of a contested river crossing. In part five in the series, covering letters and diary entries from this wonderful book, we'll follow Private Hans Roth for a third time as he takes part in a contested river crossing and then the storming of Soviet bunkers. In addition to rare film footage, I'll use an OKW situational map to give context to his story. You can find the entries from today's episode on page 27 in the book. If you haven't got it yet, the pinned link in the comments section will get you to it. At the end of the video, we'll see more of this river crossing footage, so stick around. It's worth it. This is the original war atlas for the German High Command for Operation Barbarossa. We are looking at June 22, 1941, the day that Barbarossa began. Private Hans Roth served in the 299th Infantry Division. As part of Army Group South, the division was in the 6th Army and was part of Panzer Group 1, which was led by Colonel General Ewald von Kleist. On the morning of the 22nd, their first task was to cross the River Bug, which represented the border, create a bridgehead on the far bank, and then to penetrate east as quickly as possible. Unlike just to the south, where the 11th Panzer Division would make up the spearhead of the attack, on this day, the 299th would advance largely without armor support. All of a sudden, at exactly 0315 hours, and apparently out of the blue, an opening salvo emerges from the barrels of hundreds of guns of all calibers. It's impossible to comprehend one's world in such an inferno. Our homeland is still innocently asleep, while here, death is already collecting a rich harvest. We crouch in our holes with pallid but resolved faces while counting the minutes until we storm the Bug fortifications. A reassuring touch of our ID tags, the arming of hand grenades, the securing of our machine guns. It is now 0330 hours. A whistle sounds. We quickly jump out from under cover and at an insane speed cross the 20 meters to the inflatable boats. The sign we see the soldiers carrying is telling the Soviets not to fight, to surrender. In this instance, it didn't work. In a flash, we are on the other side of the river, where rattling machine gun fire awaits us. We have our first casualties. With the help of a few assault engineers, we slowly, much too slowly, eat through the barbed wire barriers. Meanwhile, shells fire into the bunkers of Molinikov. We finally get out of this mess. In a few short steps, we are able to advance to the first bunker, arriving in its blind spot. The Reds fire like mad, but are unable to reach us. The decisive moment is near. An explosives specialist approaches the bunker from behind and shoves a short fused bomb into the bunker's fire hole. The bunker shakes and black smoke emerges from the openings, signaling its final doom. We move on. 
Molinikov is completely in our hands by 10 hundred hours. The Reds, hunted by our infantry, disperse quickly to Bisnitsko Ruski. We are ordered to cleanse the village of any remaining enemy combatants. The area is combed house by house. This is a good place to thank my Patreon supporters who help buy the originals used to create these videos. Supporters get regular access to exclusive footage that can't be shown here. Open a free account and take a look at some example footage at military1945.com. Our shelling has caused terrible damage. The Reds, however, have also done their fair share. Slowly, our nerves grow accustomed to the all too familiar gruesome images. Close to the Reds Custom House lies a large mound of fallen Russians, most of them torn to shreds from the shelling. Slaughtered civilians lie in the neighboring house. The horribly disfigured bodies of a young woman and her two children lie among their shattered personal belongings in another small cleansed house. We have taken our first prisoners. Snipers and deserters receive their deserved reward. And now, let's take a look at more of that river crossing footage. If you like this kind of material, please subscribe to the channel and like the video. Thanks for watching.